<sighs> okay, well, remember at the end of my last video, I kind of ended up in a little frustration. I thought I had it totally figured out. I laid everything out really neat and orderly, and you, all you see is backed up conveyors, and the only thing that's running is the screws. So I don't have enough screws, and I have too many rods and too many plates. And so I went to the drawing board and I did some research. I found that when you look at the plates here, it makes two iron plates in a batch, but it creates 20 iron plates per minute. It puts 30 iron ingots out per minute in batches of three. So you, it frustrated me to try to do that. And that was the problem with my calculation. That's why I've got too many plates and too many rods. And when I computed the need for these, I got way too few of other things. In this case, the iron rods going into the screws. So I, I have the math redone. I'm going to implement that. As soon as I implement the changes, we'll see if they're effective. What's going to end up happening is I've got four miners all sitting on impure nodes. So each of my miners are only producing 30 per minute. So because they're all feeding 30 per minute, all of my smelters process data at 30 per minute. So basically, uh, I've got one miner per one smelter. So I've got a one-for-one one relationship and I have four in a row. So I have four smelters feeding into my constructors here. So the first constructor, what I really need to have is, uh, when, I, when I look at my piece of paper here, here I'm looking at it, I cheat notes from calculating everything. So the first thing that's gonna happen is I am going to split the iron ore into two constructors because I need 30 rods and frankly I'm feeding one constructor the amount for that can only produce 15 rods and can only re receive 15 uh, ingots per hour and since that's the case it's only running half speed so I need to split my line going into that one and create two so Okay, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to end up needing to build the things that I need, but I'm going to go ahead and do the splitter first. Okay, I've got the input in place, I think. So I've got ingots going into the splitter. Now I need two constructors. So I need a constructor coming straight out of here and I need a constructor right next to it. Now I need to take and I need to combine them back again. And then I need to split them into three. And then we go here to there. Good. I need a splitter to split it into three so I can use three constructors. Appears to be lined up. Good.
look at that. It's staying stocked up. Really, the next thing I need to do is apply the same math and go back, go over to my other one and get it straightened out as well. Because I have too few screws being created there, kind of the same way that I had too few screws being created here. So um, let's take a, a take a meander on over to uh, the other. I mean, pretty much everything is shut down because it's all so badly unbalanced um, that it's just amazing to me how much waste there is in, in just wasting electricity, wasting time. Okay, so what I need from him, in order to make smart plating, I need one rotor, one re reinforced plate, okay? I consume each one of those at two per minute. So literally, I only need to make two rotors and two reinforced plates per minute. So it's going to create a smart plate every 30 seconds. So it's only going to create two smart plates per minute. So a smart plate consists of a rotor and a reinforced plate, period. And it produces one smart plate. Okay, so let's go over here. What have I got? This one can produce four rotors per minute. Five rod, so it, it, it'll consume iron rod and screws. It needs 20 per minute of iron rod and 100 per minute of iron rod and screws. That then will produce four rotors per minute. So this will create two smart so I have rotors that are being produced twice as fast as they need to be. Thus, we have this backup of rotors. And rotors are pretty doggone valuable. So this is producing four rotors, which means that technically I could have two constructors going here. I'm going to put a splitter in right here. And uh, split off this conveyor belt. And that'll give half to my machine here and half to my storage. And then I'll have a, a storage of rotors whenever I need it. Okay, very good. That's the first thing I'll do then. And so I'll go down here to logistics and I will put a splitter. But let's scoot it over. Let's make it jog a bit. Okay, and now I'm going to put a conveyor to that. And I'm going to put a conveyor out here back to that. Okay, so you end up splitting it in two. This is giving five per minute. It only needs two. If I just split it in two, if I just split it in two, then it should just, frankly, it'll give two and a half. I've got a half of, half of one that doesn't, uh, doesn't work. But I don't think I want to worry about refining it any more than that. I really don't. So I think what I'll do is I'll just split this one in two. And uh, off to the side here, I'll create some more storage. Just like the others.
Okay, so at this point I've balanced the end of the line uh, over here. Um, I need to move on, do other things. So I'm going to shut it down for tonight. And then I'm, uh, tomorrow, next time, time I'm, I'm on, I think I'm going to see if I can explore how to get these steel pipes done, the constructors for that or whatever. See what it takes to make, a, make steel piping and then uh, integrate that into one of the two factories that I've got started at this point. This one on the valley and the one up against the, uh, the cliffs and see, uh, see where that all takes me. So uh, this has been fun. It's been fun starting to see it balance out. It doesn't necessarily comfort me that, that I still have some, a certain amount of spaghetti. Nothing's organized yet. But from what I understand, I get a thing called uh, blueprints at some point. And once I have blueprints, then I can create a conforming module that does certain things with certain inputs. Then I can create those and then just plop them down as I need them. So that'll be good. So I'm hoping that that comes soon. And if it does, great. So look forward to seeing you again uh, next time we join. And uh, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button and see if we can get this out and see if we can uh, increase the size of our satisfactory uh, community in the future. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.